everyone, welcome back to Fit Friday. I'm Danielle. And I'm Bella. And today we're going to be doing an arm workout using weights. So if you don't feel comfortable using weights, you can use something like water bottles or soup cans just to get that extra muscle workout today. So the first exercise we're going to do, go ahead and um, make your way to the ground with your weights. We're going to lay flat on our backs and have our knees um, bent so that our feet are near our butts, just like we would be if we were doing crunches. And then we're going to take those weights and we're going to put our elbows out to the side on the ground with our hands up in the air. And then we're going to straighten our arms all the way up so that our arms are not straight and the weights are facing the ceiling. And then we'll bend our arms back down so our elbows are touching the floor once again. So we go from our elbows touching the floor to our arms straight up and uh, to the ceiling, and then bend our arms once again and bring them back down to the ground. The key to this exercise is doing it nice and slow so that we're really working those muscles. So we're gonna do 10 all together, and I'll count so we stay on track. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Good job, guys. Now, that's the only exercise we're going to do on the floor today, so let's go ahead and make our way back to standing with our weights, and I'll explain the next exercise. The next one we're going to do is a bicep curl. So you can go ahead and put your feet wherever they're comfortable for you, and then our hands are going to be in front of our legs, holding our weights, and our palms should be facing forward. So your hands should look like this if they didn't have weights, and then go ahead and grab your weight. We're gonna bend our elbows to bring our weights towards our shoulders. And then we'll straighten our arms back down in front of us. So one important thing we wanna remember, especially when we're using weights, is that we don't swing our arms backwards to get them up to our shoulders so we can protect our muscles and avoid injury. So try and keep the rest of your body still and only move your arms for this exercise. All right, just like the last time, we're gonna do 10 and I'll count for us. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job, guys. We have two exercises left, and Bella is going to explain those for us. Alright, the next exercise we are going to do are shoulder raises. So, if you have weights or a water bottle, and you're just going to bring it up to your shoulders, bend your elbows, and then we're going to reach to the sky or the ceiling, keeping your arms straight, and then we're going to come back down, bending our elbows, and coming back to our shoulders. And we are going to do 10, and I will count for you. One, two, Good job, you guys. We have one more exercise, and that is going to be lateral side raises. So we're going to have our arms at our sides, and we're going to bring them up to like a big T, and we're going to bring them back down. Making sure we are not swinging like this out of control. We have to make sure our muscles are controlled, that we come to a big T, and we slowly come back down so you don't hurt yourself. We are going to do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good 
Good job, you guys. All right, guys, good job. Those are the four exercises in our workout today. So go ahead and rewind this video and go through those exercises two more times. You guys got it. You're doing great. We hope to see you next week.